Hey everybody, MTG Noob here. My opponent mulled to six. I will not mull to six. My hand is pretty good. I can alchemy for something if I need it. Okay, so he leads out with a mountain, which is always nice since he didn't play anything too aggressive. We have all our colors except for our own mountain, which is fine since we don't have our instigator gang at the moment. We're going to go turn two, walking corpse, turn three, reap probably, turn four, maybe we'll alchemy if we keep drawing all these damn lands, we'll see. Okay, seems to be, I guess, mana screwed. We are getting a little bit flooded, but that's okay. We will play out our reap here. There were a lot of rolling Templars, so we got to play around that. And hopefully next turn we draw a rank. Endless ranks of the dead, okay. Just keep bashing. End of turn, we will alchemy. We'll play our island here, and then we'll alchemy. Probably dumping a creature. Okay, Blazing Torch isn't going to do it. Um, Yeah, we're going to alchemy anyway. We'll leave open a blue in case we want to keep a Thought Scour. Oops. <laughs> no, we won't, because that's apparently cheating. Who cheats at magic? The MTG noob does. There we go. That's that's the one. Uh, yeah, we'll take end, endless ranks and we'll dump all this other shit. I mean, it's good, uh, not at the moment. All right, I don't know what he is, so to speak. No, oh, come on, I clicked on you. I know I clicked on you. I clicked on you again. Now I clicked on you four thousand times. Okay, um, so I don't know what he is, so I'd rather not give him information. So, like, right now, I'm going to just play out, like, flashback on my um, reap. I mean, I can play the 3-6. Like, hopefully he doesn't have a rolling Templar here. If he does, then we're screwed, but we can regrow our team. Okay, that doesn't do much. I mean, it blocks, but that's fine. Okay. So we'll swing with team. Go, team, go. And then we'll play um, the black cat and the endless ranks of the dead. Two, three, four. These ranks are endless. Okay, and one, two, and should be good now. I mean, we're gonna, as long as he doesn't kill our guys, we're going to get, you know, a bunch of stuff going down. We'll get like two zombies. I'm not going to be blocking. He's still got six cards in hand. I mean, hey, if he pulls this off, then go him. I mean, maybe I should have played the scob, but I'll play it next turn. I could always alchemy, and we'll see what happens. I mean, I didn't want to show him too much of my deck. I was hoping he would, wouldn't would pull out, but maybe I didn't uh, use my mana efficiently. All right, he's probably just going to suit up his villagers. But we're going to get so many tokens now. We're going to get one token unless he kills one of our guys now, which I don't think he can. Okay. Endless ranks of the dead. Oh, yeah, rounded down. Duh. Okay, um, I think we're going to swing, but we're going to probably lose team here. So I don't know if that's the best thing to do. Um, 
I think maybe just waiting the turn is better. But let's see. We swing, we lose this guy. We swing, he probably just blows it up. We play out a 3-6. Yeah, I think we just wait, to be honest. Man, I got that funny feeling that he's, like, crawling back into the game. And I hate that feeling. Plus, if we pull a land, we can sneak this into play if it's a red one. Um, let's play this out. Pretend we have Bone to Ash. I mean, I kind of don't want to lose team here, so let's just wait it out. See if he wants to pop anything now. I mean, his guys are standing for it. I could have been aggressive, but let's see. He blocks this, shoots this, blocks my black cat, loses a card. I have two zombies. I get a zombie on my upkeep. I mean, that doesn't seem good. Now, if he doesn't do anything, which I don't think he can realistically go too crazy, I'll get two zombies, and then I could swing and go nuts myself. Plus, I still got Forbidden Alchemy in the graveyard, so if I really need a card, I'll do that. Hopefully, he doesn't wipe my board. Plus, a 3-6 is going to be harder to deal with. Well, not, not so much anymore. Okay, we're just going to keep growing our, our ranks. I mean, they're endless. Our ranks are endless at this point. Okay, that kind of changes up the landscape, so to speak. I mean, we play this. He's got to then use... Let's see, we swing in with everybody. He's got to use his torch on this. Let's go, team. Go, team, go. Okay, so team's coming in. I mean, he's probably going to shoot this. before anything goes down and he's going to eat some of our stuff but now he's going to take some damage he'll eat that he'll probably eat that probably just block here take three shoot this yep so he takes three okay before all these go off he's got to kill it uh, we'll make him lose one. We'll gain one. Okay, so he's at two. Maybe I should have swung first. Make him blow up his torch. Because then he would be at three and I'd have a 2-1 flyer. Alright, well he doesn't want to show us anything else. We were drawing pretty okay after. All right, so he is red, green, I guess, werewolves slash fatties. Um, so how are we going to deal with that? We don't have to bring in any flyers, so that's good. Excuse me. Um, this is, I guess, okay, but I think seems a little slow. We might not want the instigator gang in this matchup because we probably want the consistency. So I'm going to cut that, I'm going to cut that, I'm going to cut the grotto, add a swamp and an island. And then I guess we'll bring in the Stitcher's Apprentice. I mean, he's going to have trouble dealing with this Shriek Geist, I would think. So that might be actually like a legitimate clock against him. Let's bring in the Shriek Geist. This... I mean, it enables things, but it doesn't do that much. Maybe I want this over the Thought Scour, though. But it doesn't block well, so that's the problem. I could always play the Rolling Templar, but I don't think it kills. He's just got, like, fat guys. Like, if he didn't get color screwed that game, we probably would have... I, I don't want to say lost, but we probably wouldn't have done as well as we did. Um, Stitcher's Apprentice is a 1-2... 
doesn't really trade with anything in green. Um, let's leave it like this. I'm going to bring you round two now. I've decided an executive decision to try to bring you as much content in one video. This way you don't have to watch 300 videos at once. So hopefully you appreciate that decision and continue watching and telling people about the site and subscribing. Okay, so we got a pretty slow start here. Um, hopefully he doesn't play a shepherd here. If he plays a shepherd, then we're in trouble if it flips. Okay, that guy's okay. We can, we can live with that guy. All right, yep, we're living with that guy. Uh, let's play out another swamp and pass the turn. Unfortunately, his guy is going to flip now, so he's getting his beats on. Uh, I will be playing the 1-4 next, so that it could just stand in the way of that guy all day, every day. Okay, he's got another. Ooh, jeez, he's got a good deck. Like, if you were going to draft werewolves, like, this is the deck. I probably should have cut this, believe it or not. Uh, next turn, I'm going to play out a Juggernaut. I mean, I could play the Captain here. He's just going to be forced to trade with this. Um, I'll consider the Juggernaut. I mean, I might play the... Like, that was awesome, of course. <laughs> Got our dead weight. Like, one of our only removal spells. But, alas, we have a 1-4. So, we be blocking... We be blocking, blocking, block, blocking. Okay, let's hope he doesn't play another spell here, which he probably will. Man, I'm just going to try to illegally block the villagers. I'm trying. You're not letting me. Okay, that happened. Oh, don't play. Don't play. Don't still have all these werewolves, bro. Come on. All right, um... I'm a little wor worried he has, like, a one-point removal spell. I can play the Juggernaut. I think it's best to play Juggernaut. But, like, I have all my four drops. So the problem with that is... Like, if I play this out, it buffs this to a 2-5. Yeah, you know what? Let's play this out, and then everything after this is buffed. I mean, worst comes to worst, it just stands in the way of things. It'll probably die, believe it or not. Uh, we'll we'll be blocking here if he swings. Don't brimstone it. Don't you brimstone it. Oh, fires. Wah, wah, wah. Should have played the juggernaut, boys and girls. That's the moral of the story. Yups. Getting the beats. A spicy pizza. Okay. I mean, a juggernaut will make him not attack me for a turn. <laughs> but still, then I've got to swing with it. Uh, fires. His flashback is black. Trying to see what the best plan here is. 5-1 does not seem like the best plan. I mean, this trades... You know what? Let's play at the Juggernaut. Screw it. I mean, it'll buy us a turn. And then we pass. <laughs> we super pass. We're at 10. We're just fighting for our lives here. He went 2 drop, 3 drop, 4 drop, werewolf, shoot our guy. Um, this guy should not be in the deck at the moment. He can't block, so that was a bit of a misplay, I guess, by us cutting him, uh, leaving him, and, and even cutting the red card. Uh, I'm tempted to bring in Rolling Templar against him, because it does take out the good majority of his guys, so let's consider that. I can't see how he swings here. He'll just flip his guys. Really? You are getting aggro, bro. Okay. That's fine with me. Maybe he's got like a first strike thing. Um, I think we're going to eat this 
for the simple fact that he has to have a three point burn spell to kill my juggernaut and um this will turn into a six four and then this can still trade with it i mean that's what i'm thinking i could be wrong though go juggernaut jogo juggernaut where are you you are a juggernaut that's a scooby-doo song with the words juggernaut chain in okay was it spidery grasp up in this piece spidery grasp okay uh still does not kill our guy which is good but you know we still take three and don't get to kill his guy so that's not amazing for us plus he has a blocker if he wants it i assume he doesn't i mean next turn we're gonna just play out um i'm really like worried to play out that rotting fence snake and this isn't even a card in our deck like this basically should be nothing like he does nothing in this case Let's see maybe he's got another creature i hope not what did we time out i hope we're not timing out okay good 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 okay ghoul callers chant that's a nice one um we can get back two of our zombies and we can play out this guy <laughs> the problem is we can't then really use him um let's we gotta swing with our juggernaut so let's do that come on juggernaut you swing now okay all right let's uh ghoul callers chant back our zombies to our hand even though we can't play the this guy yet but we can play the captain out which i think is the right call because death touch is sweet plus then it prevents this guy it makes that guy flip back okay so we're gonna we're trying we're at seven we're trying to hang in here i think we're blocking with our captain as well if he tries to swing probably block here this with this this with this hopefully he's just out of gas i mean he might have just had like the early nut draw <laughs> maybe he's got a devil's fly who the hell knows hopefully he doesn't have um, brimstone volley i would think he would snap attack if he had a brimstone volley though oh this is something big rage thrower still got all these rage throwers that's gonna kill us watch this then that's not a werewolf because <laughs> before he said that's not a zombie remember guys do you remember that all right still got all these rage throwers my man oh he doesn't swing man he just wants to like triple block and i've got i mean i still got all these nothing um okay we'll try it play this guy we'll play this snake so we're just gonna try to put as much power on the board as possible at the moment because that's what we gotta do still got all these rage throwers we have no out to this we can't kill this so I mean right now we're just we're essentially dead just you know just in case you didn't know I don't know why he didn't swing last turn I think he had a swing last turn what we have to do is try to kill him before uh oh still got all these flips werewolves okay yep well what do we got 
Oh, what is this madness? Leg. Okay. Okay. Well, at least we got to untap our juggernaut. <laughs> All right, well, he flanged or flung. All right, well, we can't attack with a juggernaut. Um,. Should we just attack with everything? Can we kill him from here is the question. Because if we can't kill him from here, what the hell's the point? Uh, I mean, we're just going to die if he decides to block. Um, all right, let's see. Swing for six, he trades. Three, probably blocks. Two blocks here, blocks the biggest one. No, we can't kill him just yet. Alright, um... I guess we want to do... This. And I guess we want to do... This. Actually... Yeah, let's not do that. Just in case. Just in cases. Let's us attack because we have to. Boo, juggernaut. Don't you die on me. Don't you kill things. Put us to three, you nerd. Don't you put us to three, you nerd. We're, we're, like, as soon as he attacks, we're just dead. I mean, we have to die here. Okay, that's fine. I, I don't like that. Um, let's see. If we order this first, he kills our guy. And we go to three. Those guys are gonna want. Yeah, I think we gotta do that, unfortunately. Let's not kill his guy. We'll go to three. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Still got all these dead guys. Oh, and this thing's gotta be blocked. Oh no, it doesn't! <laughs> because I'm playing two spells. Dose spells. What's up now? Okay, this guy will remove a juggernaut. We're trying. We're trying to hang in here. No outs to Rage Thrower? Seems good. Too bad we don't have a Grip Tide. If we had a Grip Tide, that would be good. Alright, so he's got a 2-3. I'm trying to think like if there's anything. there's any way we can win this game. I mean, we have a lot of power on the board. Just not enough to really, I'd say, punch through. Not enough to punch through, ladies and gentlemen. And we can't play this <laughs> this damn sightless ghoul. Urgh. I mean, look, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to mill him with this dude. That's right. I will mill. I will mill you. I mean, he's really just got a swing. All right, he plays a shepherd. That sucks for us. The more guys he plays, the better off he is. Damn you, Rage Thrower. If you weren't in play, I think we would have made a comeback in this game. Eh. Nonetheless, let's let's see if we can get through and, and figure out a strategy. Let's go strategery. I think we're just dead. How are we not just dead here? gonna be a land you know when you don't want to land it's always a land 
Come on. Ah, ah, there it was. Hey, remember how I said it's it's a land? Now it's a land. All right, we swim with everything we die because we can't get lethal through. So let us swing with this kind little gentleman. Let's always yield to the FX. All right, he's got a blazing torch and a pitch burn devils. You crazy, you crazy guy, you. Actually, let's leave a dissipate, man. Ooh, we're so saucy. Okay, we'll play this guy. He does nothing for us, but he's a 3 3. Can't block, so that's always fun. Got no eyes. How could he see anything? Okay, uh, I think he's got to just come in and kill us. Yep, that's gonna be the game. Hmm, I'm trying to see <laughs> where we can profitably block to not die. This guy's a 2 2. So this guy's actually owning us um i guess we're gonna try to make him sweat it out this is a two three okay so we'll block here and then i guess we'll block here and then i guess we'll block here no, that seems poor. Let's just block. Let's block. Pop. And then we're going to die. But, eh, what could you do? Rage thrower is good. That's why he's a rage thrower. He throws rage, guys. He throws it. Alright. Concede game. Alright, let's go to the sideboard. Sideboard. I mean, he would have beat us a long, long time ago. Fling is good. Very good in his deck. So, he's got a ton of burn. And he's got a lot of creatures that... I mean, we might want this. I don't think I want the Street Geist. So, let's cut that. I think we want the Rolling Templar, believe it or not. And we're cutting the Sightless Ghoul. And we'll play the Instigator Gang. And we're just going to put this mountain back in put another mountain in and put a shimmering grotto and hope we don't bite ourselves in the ass cut a swamp cut an island one two three four five two four six eight two four six seven all right that's how we're rocking it we're doing this we got to also be, play an extra mountain because Thought Scour plus Alchemy plus Armored Scob dump lands in the graveyard. So uh, We only have 13 creatures. I don't know if that's enough. Watchkeep is pretty good against him. Juggernaut really isn't, but I don't want to go too far into three-color deck. Let's, let's rock this. Wish us luck. Boom, here we go. We'll be on the play, because his deck is the shit. Oh, that's a good one. Mulligan. Dude, really? You gotta fuck me like that, Shuffler? I'm not mulling a five. What? What's the best that could happen? Well, right now I can't play anything. So if he goes two drop, three drop, four drop, I just lose. If I mull to five and get nothing... Then I just lose. I think my curve is early enough. You know what? Screw it. If we're if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. I know you can probably fault me for not mulling a five there, but you know what? You can't win when you don't draw the cards that you need. All right, early drops, no land. Wow, you motherfucker. Excuse my language. All right. Well, luckily we're on the play at least. We're gonna draw on some good shit. I feel it. Like that, that's awesome. Let's let's play our enchantments against him. That's what our deck does. Thank goodness he didn't have a two drop. He, I mean, he's got to have a three drop. 
And that's a good one. That three drop is very good. Finally. Um, I think getting the ranks of the Endless Dead in play is probably wrong. But I'm hoping next turn I draw a three drop. And then I can play Black Cat and something. Whereas now I don't really want to... God, his creatures are so superior to mine. I didn't even see an Immerwolf. I wonder if he has an Immerwolf. I don't know. Let me know if you see any play errors. Because I don't know. Don't be a land. One time. Don't be a land. Don't be a land one time. Oh, that's a good one that I can't F and play. See, of course, I should have played the Black Cat last turn and chumped. Ay vey. FML. Right, guys? FML. Alright, we got a black cat. Gonna rush him roulette his hand. I'm gonna play a scob. Oh, he's got he's got the swamp too. What the hell is Oh jeez. Yeah, this game is over. I mean I should have multi five. What do you want from me? Uh, last time I multi five you saw how that draft went. I mean that's the luck versus skill aspect in Magic the Gathering. Oh, See, luck versus skill. Luck gave him a mountain in his yard. Would have uh, screwed us. Hey, ranks of endless dead. Remember how you're awesome in our deck? Oh, me neither. All right. Um, I don't think I could play that. I guess I gotta play this. Take five, eight, ten. Go to six. Untap. Play this. This is bad news. I don't think we got this, guys. I'm trying, but sorry uh, to disappoint here. I mean, maybe I should have played out the Black Cat. Then I would have the Scob. I mean, when I said I needed a 3-drop, I had no idea I was going to draw that one. Yep, that's going to be game for us, unless we draw a dead weight. Taking 10, going to 6. Alright, we need a dead weight here. Dead weight is guy, play out the noble. Not a land? Oh, rank. Oh, just that? Just that splash card we can never play? Still got all these splash cards we can't play, huh? Alright, well, is what it is. We're going to die. I think we can maybe hang on for one turn. Now we're dead. Let's see. We block there. Block there. Take six. Dead. Go to seven. We are dead. We are dead. We are dead. All right, well, I'm going to bring you around, too, regardless. But holy crap, we're dead. Thanks for watching. I apologize that we're going to die. So we have to reach thrower. Do it. Man up. Everything still triggers at the same time. I promise I have no tricks. My deck has no removal. <laughs> it basically plays <laughs> endless ranks of the dead and no zombies. That's what my deck does. There you go. You manned up. Nice. Nice job. Nice job. All right. We're still dead. Let's see. Ray trade. That's five, six. Go to seven. We have to trade and kill two of his guys to gain the two life. To negate it. Unfortunately, I think I have to block this. So we block that. And I'll block the Rage Thrower. And then we'll F6 because we're going to die. <laughs> uh, we're at 1. Still got all these 1s. He's still got priority. Oh, man. Look at his priority. Oh, we get, we get, we get a turn. We get a turn, guys. Yay, us. Look at us in our turn. We're so good at magic. All right, we bought a turn. Now we just need a red source and a creature. Oh, he still got all these captains. Oh, he still got this. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. 
GG's. Sweet deck. Alright. We gotta scoop it up. Bleh. Boo us. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Bring you round two now. And I know it wasn't the greatest thing. And when I say subscribe, you probably want to watch people being awesome at magic and not me. But thanks for watching anyway. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe.